You know what? I'm just gonna leave them on there. Do I look spite now? Okay, I'm taking these off. <laughs> Hi, boys, welcome to my channel. Oh, welcome. Today is story time. I have two story times and they are both about Uber journey. I love Ubers. I love getting Ubers. It's a great way to get around. I think they're fun, especially when you're with your friends and you're drunk and it's a blast and the Uber driver's really nice. I only got out the shower. That's why my hair is like tied to the bun because it looked gross when it was down. I have my pyjama bottoms on. Oh, I'm not but I thought I'd just stick on a cute top because then it looks like I'm wearing a whole outfit and I actually got ready for this, which I didn't. Story number one. This story is going to be the longer part, not the part, but the longer story. The other one isn't that long, but yeah, whatever. I don't think that people care, but like, I'm just not going to say names just in case and then I don't want to have to refilm this whole video and blah, 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 whatever. This story involves about seven people and we all went to this club for my friend's 18th birthday and we went to hers for pre-drinks and then she paid for everyone's ubers to get to the pre-drinks bar which was opposite the club so then we went to the bar for pre-drinks and then to the actual club so everyone's getting a bit licked everyone's a bit drunk i was quite drunk at this point i was quite broke so i didn't have enough money to buy a lot of drinks that night so like i didn't get that drunk i'm giving you like a lot before the story because this whole night was just I'm terrible at telling stories. I'm gonna lose my place every five seconds. And the girl also paid for everyone's tickets to get into the club. So we all queuing up, all get ID to go in. Everything's great, everything's fine. And then the bouncer turns around to the birthday girl who has paid for everyone's tickets, everyone's Ubers there, and pre-drinks and food at her house. He looks at her and says, You're too drunk, you can't get in. He opened the gate and he was like, yeah, you have to leave. I'm not letting you in. I was like, I'm coming in. So I went straight out with her. And I started to go to the security guards. And I'm like, this is her birthday. She's paid for everyone's tickets. You can't let everyone else in apart from her. Because they let everyone else into the club. So you can't let everyone else in but her. That's so unfair. Blah, blah, this, blah, blah, blah. I was like, she's not too drunk. She's just excited. Da, 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 da. They were like, she's too drunk. But like, because I was talking to them and they were being really nice I mean, really nice. They were like, okay, take her away. She can sober up and she can come back. In half an hour. So I've tried to calm her down and I'm like, girl, it's okay. It's just half an hour. We, not even that. We just have to sit out here for a bit. Pretend we got you some chips and some bread. You sobered up. We go back in. We're going to have a party. It's half an hour. He's sat outside now for about 15, 20 minutes. And I go back up to the security guard. And I'm like, we've been outside for half an hour. Let's go back in. Okay, whatever. So we skip the queue. We go to go back in. And as we're just about to go in, he turns to one of the other girls who came out and goes, You're too drunk. You can't go in. We've been sat outside for half an hour. If anything, we're all sober at this point. I mean, we all were still drunk because you don't completely sober up in half an hour. But like, no one was drunker because we hadn't drunk anything. We were literally sat on the bench outside of the club venue. I lost my <laughs> So after I lost my <laughs> we're not going to go into detail about that. He then let us in. Everything was fine. So now we're in the club. Everything's... Everyone's having a blast. Rigs going around. Everyone's dancing. Insert some clips here. And then it comes up to like going home time. Everything starts to like close up. So there's loads of different rooms in this club. It's like R and B club, house club, R and B room, house room, the love room. Loads of different rooms with loads of different music types. So the rooms start closing. So at this point, we were like, well, we might as well just go now instead of like waiting for each room to close. We'll just go now. We'll go to the click room, get our stuff, and go. So we go downstairs, and one of the guys we were with was really 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 drunk which is fine because you're on a night out you're allowed to get drunk whatever but he was the biggest guy there i'm tall he was taller than me he's bigger than me yeah so he's drunk so me and my other friend 
he's got his arms like this to us i'm here my other friend's here we're carrying him around we're trying to get him down the stairs we get down to the first floor where the cloakroom is and our two, three other friends start queuing for the cloakroom we're sat with him we gave them the tickets and they were going to get all of our stuff and then the drunk guy starts heaving and one of the bouncers came over and was like he can't be in here we can't have him being sick in here and i'm like yeah okay fair enough like i we all want to go home too but we're waiting for our stuff for the cloakroom. The cloakroom queue was about an hour and a half long. When I tell you it went through the whole entire club, it went through the whole entire club. And he's like, show me what he's like, take me to your friends, I'll get their tickets and I'll go straight to the front of the queue and I'll go in the back and get all your stuff. That security guard became the love of my life. He helped us so much. He went and got all of our stuff. We're fine. He kept heaving. He was the boy kept heaving. He was dribbling on himself, but everything was fine. Like we get up, we're going out, whatever. So there was like two car parks by this club. So we're sat on a bench on one side, and one of the girls orders the Ubers to go home because we were all going to the same place. And so she orders it, and then we're sat out in the freezing cold, waiting, waiting, waiting for about. 10 minutes or something then the uber driver rings her and is like yeah i'm in the car park but we're in the car park the other side we're like okay cool that's fine we're going home at this point it's about half three i'd say in the morning um we're going home at this point everything's great like yes he's in the other car park which is kind of long but we've just got to pick up the boy who's really drunk swing him over to the other side get everyone we're going everything's great it's me and this boy we pick him up again we take him two minute walk to the car park we get there and we see the uber there is there's six of us and what car is that there's six okay six of us so what what car we, what type of uber would you need if there's six people that is correct an x an x uber pulled up so the ex pulled up and when i tell you okay everything on this night was timed perfectly in the worst ways possible so the second we see the uber pull up the girl who had all the money in her account to order the uber her phone dies dies not 20 percent low power mode charge dies like done, done. She gets in and she's like, let me just charge my phone quickly. My phone's died and we need to get home. He's like, no, get the, out my car. He starts swearing, getting loud. Then everyone starts shouting at him back. We take pictures of the number plate. We reported it, whatever. Her phone turns back on. She gets it back out, orders the next one straight away. She orders the next one. And then it comes and we sit and we're waiting about another 10, 15 minutes because the club's quite far out. So that there's not like Uber just waiting around in that area. So about another 10-15 minutes at this point it's like 10 to 4 next uber comes if one of the girls gets in the front two of the girls get in the back and me and the two boys go to get in the middle like three seat of it so i open the door for the really drunk guy to get in because he needs to be by one of the like doors so that if he needs to throw up he can like straight away get out like he can't be sat in the middle so i open the door for him to get in the second that door was on its last hinge of opening he throws up he threw up straight onto the floor not the uber so that was great but bearing in mind he hadn't thrown up the whole entire night <sighs> the uber driver then decides to get out of the car and he's like no 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 he cannot get in my car okay i'm not going to do an accent because i'm not sure if that's racist or not because i can't remember what race the uber driver was he's like no he can't get in my car i'm not having to throw him up in my car and i was like please it's four in the morning we all want to go home i'm gonna watch him the whole entire ride the second i see that he's gonna look like he's being sick i will tell you you pull over and i'll make sure he's sick outside of the car i promise i was like i'm not ordering another uber i was like this is getting ridiculous he was like okay okay that's fine that's fine he's really nice he lets us get in the drunk boy straight away falls asleep he's conked the rest of us are just talking going through like photos and videos throughout the night we're laughing about how the birthday girl couldn't get in at first she's in the uber with us at the time so we get onto the motorway because that's how we had to get home because where the club was so on the motorway whether it's the freeway or whatever it is wherever you're from you're from 
I hear a noise. Me and the boy next to me hear a noise and we both look at each other. I oh, we didn't say anything because then it stopped. And then the Ubers carry on driving and then I hear the noise again. And I know exactly what noise it was. To the Uber driver, I was like, I really don't want to be the one to have to tell you this, but your tire has popped. And the second I said that on my life, the second I said that, the car goes and the tire was flattened like the car was barely moving at this point so the uber driver pulls up to the side on the on the thing that's on the side i don't know what it's called but that the uber's tire has popped we can't order another uber because it's on the motorway and ubers won't pick up on the motorway okay. <laughs> so we're all sat there this is about half four in the morning now and we're and so the uber was calling the aa the uber as nice as he was had no clue what answers were to the questions that the AA woman was asking him. I was literally answering or answering the questions for him. She'd say something, I'd be like, yes, he'd go, yes. Okay, are you on the hard shoulder? Yeah. Okay, yeah. and is the hard shoulder being used as a live lane at the moment? Yeah. No. No. We're coming home this. from the party. This is the third Uber we've ordered and the tyres popped. Sorry. Wait. I just one at my bed. Says, what's your phone? He had a spare tire. It was great. They have been called. They took about half an hour to come. So they arrive about five o'clock in the morning. At this point, we are literally sat in the car watching the sunrise. Everyone had completely sobered up at this point. We were all hungry and tired. It's five a.m. A man pulls up. He's fixing the car, and then I hear him say. And I have footage proof of this. I have footage proof. I'm literally going to insert the clip here. So he's changing, putting in the spare, the spare tire. And then I hear him say, this spare tire isn't for this car. It's not the right size. It's for a different car. How, how can you have a spare tire for a car and it not be the same tire as the rest of the tires on the car? Like, did you steal it from another car? Like, I don't, I don't know. And then the AA man decides to say, this isn't my problem anymore, I can't help you. And I have footage proof of this, so insert clip here. No, just pretty how early it is. The tire we had to fix it was Didn't the fit. wrong tire. So it, it, like, the size was just, it wasn't... So, I cannot might... follow you, buddy. I come to change the tire, I cannot follow it. What? <laughs> this is because you don't have space for a flat tire, it's not my problem. No, we... Ha we have been here since it's pitch black. Like you can't, you couldn't step you can, outside without, you couldn't see without a flash. But now, and now you, like it's full on like. No. 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 No, you can have a whole photo shoot. <laughs> so after he says that, we all kick off and I'm like, well, no, you're the AA, like, you have to help, this is your job. So he then proceeds to put the tie that pop back on and he, like, fixes it in some sort of way, he does whatever. It's about... Mm, half five, quarter to six at this point, because of how bloody long it took him to take off the broken tie, put the new one back on, the new one didn't go on properly, took that one off and then put the new old one back on and then fixed the old one to make it the new one. It went from pitch black to absolute daylight when we were sat on the motorway. And because we're sat there, we were sat in the car for like about two hours, however long it was, because we're sat there for so long, just on the motorway still, so we're still using the same Uber. It went up to, I can't remember if it was 63 pounds or 93 pounds, I think it's 63. And the Uber started off at like 25 to 30 pounds, right? And obviously Uber didn't know this at the time. The girl who ordered it is calling Uber while we're waiting for the tire to be fixed and she's explaining the situation. So we got all our Ubers for free, which is great. Thank you for the Uber. Yeah, so at this point, tire's fixed, I guess. We go off, we go home. We get to, I got to home home at 7 o'clock the next morning. I left my house the day before at half seven to be at the girl's house for eight o'clock. And I got home at seven the next morning. I was out of that house for a solid 12 hours doing the same thing. Like it wasn't like I went to different parties or I went to the park and then I went swimming. It was the same thing. Anyway, that's that story. The time I 
Uber's tire popped. Next story. It's a lot shorter than that, but it's um, of a worse ending. We're here going to this party, and um, this girl, she's having her 18th, so we have pre-drinks at one of my friend's house. Pre-drinks is like a thing. If you don't have pre-drinks, you know, you're not having a good time. If you don't have pre's and afters, you're really not living your life. Like, I'm sorry, but you need to like, come on. So we're at one of the girls' house, we're having pre's, and we have to go in Ubers to the party. So we get two Ubers because we all can't fit into one. So we get in the Ubers, it was me and these three other girls, and one of the girls was sat in the middle, and we're talking to the Uber driver, and we're like, tell us like your worst stories, like what's been the worst Uber drivers you have? Like has anyone ever gotten angry? Has anyone ever thrown up all over the car? Have you ever like, been in a crash while she'd been driving her uber like what's happened tell us your worst story so he's telling us them i literally i was kind of drunk so i can't remember what story he told us the conversation ended the girl in the middle who i'm sat next to starts heaving and i look straight at her and i go you're gonna be sick aren't you she was like yeah i was like can you please pull over here we're on the motorway also at this well we're not on a motorway we're on a dual carriageway if you're not in england I don't know if you'll know what a dual carriageway is, but it's like a long road like a motorway, but there's houses and there are ways that you can get off it, but like it is a fast going straight road. He's really nice about it. He's like, yeah, sure. She's throwing up. I'm holding her hair, everything. The two other girls are still set in the car. She's finished. I'm like, you done? She's like, yeah, it's cool. We can get back inside. I walk up to the car and I'm stood by the door of the car because the door was open. I'm stood there and me and the two other girls were just looking at her. And we're like, come on. She's just stood there. She takes one step forward and one step back and she falls. But she didn't trip over anything. She just falls backwards. And I run to her. I'm like, oh my God, like, mm, her name. And as I get to her, I see her face and I just see blood. She didn't fall on her face. As she fell, she when she went backwards, there was a fence sticking out and she slipped just here on the side of her face but the amount of blood that started pouring up this girl's head i'm going to be inserting pictures so if you don't like blood okay bye bye because there's a lot to the other girls i'm chatting i'm like quick quick they come out they're like oh my god we're all panicking she's really drunk so i don't she doesn't really even know what's going on she's shaking she's freezing cold she's crying the uber driver really wasn't helpful at this point he just sat in the car we're like just off just go away you're not doing anything we're not paying for you to just sit there one of the girls runs around the corner there's a chicken chip shop she gets a clean cloth and comes in and i'm holding it on the girl's head and then she another one of the girls calls the ambulance i call the girl's mum to let her know what's going on tell her that she is going to be going in the ambulance she's pouring with blood and it's going all down her there's a puddle about yay big on the floor of just full with blood there's she's sat in her sick her hair's all a mess it's got all down her face in certain pictures here ambulance arrives they're like we're not going to take all of you to the hospital so her and one so the girl obviously that had fallen one of the other girls went and me and the other girl didn't go in the ambulance because they wouldn't take all of us and she got her head glued back together so yeah that has been my most two eventful ubers i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you go click the subscribe button the like button the share the post notifications whatever you want to do i'm not going to tell you what to do but if you feel like doing it great that would be really helpful and really really nice i hate outros because i find them really cringy and really strange so i'm just gonna go now okay bye I wanna know